All right, uh, all the different K's. The granddaddy is K-E-Q. This has two family lines. One line is K-P. That line has died. The other line is K-C. This line is very big. Under K-C, you have K-A, K-B, K-W, uh, what else? K-F, K-S-P. I think that's all of them. That's some, and then all the polyprotics, so like K-A-1, K-A-2, etc. for polyprotics. Okay, all those K's are K-C's, meaning they have to do with concentrations. These two are related, and if I have a good memory, I will attempt to remember what the relation is. I believe it's Kc, and it should be given on your test. Kc times Rt to the delta n power. So you can relate those. Kp just means you're given in pressure. So if you have pressures given, I just go ahead and use Kp right away. All right, let me talk about a couple of the weird ones here. Uh, Ksp. A couple things I want to say about that. First of all, uh, let's go, let's do this one. Aluminum sulfite. Oh, that's aluminum sulfite. I'd like you to write the reaction that goes along with this and then the KSP expression. So you can try that. I'll give you a second to write that. If the video is working and you're watching, you can close your eyes, I guess. But I will write it on here, and when you're ready, you can look up. You want the reaction and the KSP expression, which I'll write uh, right now. Oh, this should be a... Oh, okay. I won't. It was a mistake, but don't look up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I wrote it up here, extremely large for some reason. <laughs> so, uh, it was, uh, sulfite has three, there's only three up in the sulfite. It has to be because aluminum is three plus. So, make sure you can write all these. These are kind of the easy sort of concept questions that go along with this. The, it gets harder as you have to write out the ice table. Uh, and so, I'll just say a little bit about that. KSP is usually large or small. Very, very small. That means the reactants are favored. So if I write down that reaction one more time, uh, I won't put the state symbols this time. Okay, if you write down the reaction, this can have a couple iterations of types of problems. So first of all, you ignore the solid. Now, let me show you the types of problems you can have. What's not going to change is the C line. So you always put plus the coefficient times x, or s, whatever variable you prefer. And then plus here, the coefficient is 3. Huh? This is sulfite. You're thinking of sulfate. Sulfite is SO3. Oh, oh, up here. Yes, fantastic. That's fantastic. Okay, three. <laughs> All right. Now, here's the two e next easiest types of questions. Find X. X is the molar solubility. So if you're asked for the molar solubility, you're solving for X. And then up here, it depends what you put. Usually it's zero. The only reason it wouldn't be zero if it's a common ion. So if they give you like potassium sulfite with a particular concentration, you'd put that here. Or if they give you uh, some aluminum 
iodide or something like that at a particular concentration, you put that right here. So if they give you a number, you'll put it there and you just add those. Sometimes, so let me write this uh, KSP, and then you'd write your expression. Oh, it's just right up here. You write down your expression. Sometimes they'll give you the molar solubility. They'll give you X, and you'll find KSP. So that's another variation of problems. Those are the two most standard.